In the course of the last week, the Kimball County Sheriff's Office arrested and booked an Amber Seymour, 39 on a warrant, Charles Sheldon, 47 on a warrant, David Beringer, 38 on a bond violation and Jeffrey Nichols, 52 for a DUI. Mary Lynch Elementary kids returned to school this month to find brand new playground equipment. Principal Amanda Kulik said the school wanted to get updated equipment for the kids to have new fun choices. The kids are loving it, they were all super shocked they got a zip line, Kulek said. The most popular equipment is the zip line and the spinner seat. The equipment has been a wonderful addition, Kulek said. I would say there is not a piece of equipment out there not being used. The playground equipment was installed in June and is open to the rest of the community only during the summer. A Kimball family has volunteered to oversee a free youth program offered by Trinity United Methodist Church. Stephen and Megan Kaminsky created the Friday Afternoon Builders FOB program as a community service through the church. It is available to kindergarten through sixth graders on Fridays from noon to 5 p.m. following the elite program organized at Mary Lynch Elementary on Friday outs. The biggest point Stephen wants to get across is that this is not a denominational program, but the main goal is to provide a community service which happens to be held in a church. My wife and I feel like being part of a community is doing what you can to help out like creating a program that may help some families that need help with children being cared for as schedules change in the school, so that is the driving force behind what we're doing, he said. So far there are three families who have registered for the program, and Stephen said maybe a family won't need it every Friday, but they will know it's there and can bring their children if needed. Activities will range from games like four-square cowboy golf and basketball to basic activities like crafts, puzzles, card games, and even story time. It will be located at Trinity United Methodist Church, and children will be able to take the Kimball Transit from Mary Lynch Elementary to the church. The elite program director told Stephen that they have a range of 20 to 40 kids who participate in their program, so he said that is the benchmark they are looking at for their youth program. They still need volunteers to help oversee the program. Each volunteer will need to pass a background check and complete a safe gatherings training. To register your child or for more information on the program, visit the website at trinitykimballumc.org slash FAB. Well, the Kimball County Sheriff's Office wants to give a special thanks to the Rotati Club and Stuart Tritt for the donation of over 1,000 badges. They also want to thank Deputy Murdoch for working with Stuart Tritt and the, the Rotary Club. That is all in local news. At Kimball State Bank and Kimball Insurance, products we offer are home, auto, business, truck, farm, life, boat, RV, motorcycle, ATV, rental homes, vacant homes, and SR-22 auto policies. Hours of operation are Monday through Thursday from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., Fridays 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturdays by appointment and closed on Sundays. We are conveniently located at 205 South Locust Street, four blocks west of the stoplights off Highway 30. For more than a century, Kimball State Bank and Insurance has been serving our community and will continue for more years to come. Call us at 308-235-4629 for more information or stop by 205 South Locust Street. Attention job seekers! Are you looking for a fulfilling career opportunity? Look no further than George Risk Industries. As leaders in the security industry, they offer a wide range of open positions with competitive salaries, comprehensive benefits, and a dynamic work environment. George Risk Industries is the perfect place to grow your career. To see what's available, visit grisk.com. That's G-R-I-S-K dot com. Hover over the About Us tab, then click Careers. George Risk Industries is an equal opportunity employer. The Kimball Helping Hands Free Food Distribution Day is the third Saturday of every month from 9 to 11 at the Kimball Baptist Fellowship, 507 South Oak Street, the corner of 6th Street and Oak Street in Kimball. They provide free food to any resident of Nebraska who meets federal income guidelines. They only ask that you bring a container for your food items. For more information, call 308-235-2204. Are you tired of a large house to clean, snow removal, and the big responsibility of owning a home looming over your head? Retirement should come with more freedom. Check out Vista Villa Apartments. Why Vista Villa? 
Vista Villa allows you to thrive in your next chapter. Trim responsibilities. Grow your freedom. Make your next chapter, your best chapter. Vista Villa is located at 720 Vista Drive. Support Friends of the Kimball Library. Bring in your Main Street Market receipts to the Kimball Library by the front desk. Main Street Market generously donates money to non-profit organizations who collect and turn in these receipts. The Friends of the Kimball Library appreciates your support. My name is Dr. Bill Wyatt and I'm a board certified plastic reconstructive surgery doctor working here in Kimball Health Services and the Pine Bluffs Clinic. I'm board certified in uh, plastic surgery, hand and micro surgery, uh, general surgery and surgical wound care. This is kind of a boutique little hospital if you want to know the truth. It's easy to get in, it's good care. It's not a big hospital but it gives big hospital care. Call 308-235-1951 to see Dr. Wyatt at Kimball Health Services. We're caring. Close to Home. Clean Harbors is currently looking for multiple candidates for open positions at their Kimball facility. Apply today to work for an award-winning team and stay for a rewarding career. Qualified candidates must have high school diploma, the ability to work in a team environment, possess good communication and organizational skills, as well as an excellent commitment to health and safety. Benefits include competitive pay, health coverage after 30 days, 401k match, as well as growth opportunities, generous paid time off, and tuition reimbursement. For more information and a complete list of open positions, visit careers.cleanharbors.com. Clean Harbors sustainability in action. Are you ready for some off-road racing? August 31st and September 1st is once again for the Moto Adventure Kawasaki PNCC Potter 120 off-road race in Potter, Nebraska from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Come watch over 300 amateur and pro riders race their dirt bikes through more than 200 acres competing on a seven-mile track through pain needle terrain. And then stick around for live music from country artist Micah Fletcher and special guest Mud County at the Big Boy Party in the Pasture from 5 to 10 p.m. For more information, visit pnccracing.com or pnccracing.com. Our sound piano and vocal studio is accepting applications for beginner piano and or vocal students. Sessions begin September 5, 2024. It is located in Kimball, Nebraska. For more information, call or text Janet Anderson at 308-760-4419. Ride with a Red Knight Poker Run is coming up on Saturday, September 7, 2024. Registration is from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. at the Shoot No. 7 Bar and Grill. Join the Red Knights Motorcycle Club of Nebraska Chapter No. 4 of Kimball, Nebraska, as they host a poker run to benefit victims of fire in our community. Cost is $20 per hand or $30 per couple. The card stops at the following places. Number 1. Dewey's Bar in Stoneham, Colorado. Number 2. The Place in Hillrose, Colorado. Number 3. Henry's Bar in Sterling, Colorado. Number 4. Hot Spot in Pete's, Colorado. Number 5. Bags Bar in Potter, Nebraska. And number 6. The Beer and Loathing in Kimball, Nebraska. Payout is for the top three hands turned in. Our KMC Gun Raffle winner will also be announced after the poker run. If interested, see any club member for tickets and rules of purchase. Poker Run winners, the best five cards drawn, will be announced at the Beer and Loathing Bar. For more info contact our KMC any number 4 President Mark Wetham at 308-235-5592. Generated proceeds are donated at the discretion of our KMC, ME No. 4. The Kimball Farmers Day 3rd Annual Food Fair and Vendor Event will be held on Friday, September 27th and Saturday, September 28th from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. at 2nd Street and Chestnut Street. For more information or to reserve your spot, call or text 308-672-9724. From the KIMB Weather Center, this is your weather outlook for the next week. Tonight, a chance of sprinkles. Partly cloudy, with a low around 56. South wind around 15 miles per hour becoming north-northwest after midnight. Winds could gust as high as 25 miles per hour. Thursday sunny, with a high near 80. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Thursday night widespread haze between 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. Clear with a low around 49. Northeast wind 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming south-southwest after midnight. Friday sunny, with a high near 83. 
west southwest wind 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming south southeast in the afternoon friday night clear with a low around 56 south southeast wind around 10 miles per hour saturday sunny with a high near 89 saturday night mostly clear with a low around 54 sunday sunny with a high near 86 breezy sunday night partly cloudy with a low around 58 breezy monday labor day sunny with a high near 87 breezy monday night mostly clear with a low around 59 breezy next tuesday sunny with a high near 89 next tuesday night partly cloudy with a low around 58 and next wednesday a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms mostly sunny with a high near 88 that is your weather outlook for the next week hot dry and windy today with critical fire weather conditions are expected across much of southeast wyoming and western nebraska any fire starts will have the potential to spread rapidly red flag warnings are in effect 